Well, hello everyone, I'm Fracture, and I welcome you to another Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the PC. We've just been told that we have the opportunity to become a Padawan, I think, or even, even more lowly than that. But we have to pass a couple of tests. And it's a history test, as I recall. I, I'm not positive. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it, or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. And if we do wish to repeat the mistakes of our past, I'm eager to learn, Master Dorak. At least I will feign eagerness. Ah, uh, very well. Let me... Tell me the history of the Jedi. I seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. Indeed we do. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our Order. Think and meditate on these truths, Apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge, there is no passion, there is serenity, there is no chaos, there is harmony, there is no death, there is the Force. Knowledge of the Code will lead you to the rank of Padawan, and knowledge of the Order and its history will guide you down the path of the Light. I'm not eager to learn. Um... This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. If you are seeking information on Revan, Malak, and the Sith, I will gladly recount the recent history of our order to you. How do I get out of here without... Pissing him off. As you wish. That's how. So, that little poem thing, I think was the first test. Let's chat with this Greetings, guy see my if we young have enough. Fufu. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Actually, I was here for some soft serve ice cream, but, uh, okay, if I have the wrong person... I am now ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order. As handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm ready. Go for it. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. There is no ignorance. There is no passion. There is no chaos. Mm, can't read my own writing. H something by the looks of it. There is no death. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. Well, I wrote them down. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, 
focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. As opposed and to his own feet. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Uh, this is actually quite neat. Um, and unfortunately I don't remember, and I haven't really picked where I'm rambling, is you basically answer some of his questions, and he recommends a type of Jedi. Uh, and it does affect the skills that you get and stuff. I guess I'll just wing it and, and answer how my character would answer. The better or worse way, depending on your outlook, is to actually look on the internet and, and there's very specific choices to make depending on which role you want. So of course you can influence the decision quite easily through the power of the internet. Now he said, what, Dorak? Was it Dorak? Yeah. Hedy Lamar is not, it must be this guy. Ah, you have come, young apprentice. Oh, Master I'm sorry, Zars no, I was just eating ice cream. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Can I have, like, stripes? What colors are there? What, all of them, or just the ones for the lights? Blue is the color of the Jedi ah, Guardian. Go. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I was just jotting that down. So really, I suppose the choices this character should be making would be either the Consular, because we're going for uh, high discussion skills, or what was the other one, the yellow one? Uh, I just wrote down C-E-N-T and I've forgotten already. Uh, less focus on combat. Clearly I was going dexterity, so the first one, the blue one, the guardian, is probably less appropriate for me. Ah, oh, they're written right on the screen, that's, uh, so it, it's either a consular, or, I wrote, oh, yeah, <laughs> I wrote down C-E-N-T for sentinel. Great spelling, boss! Uh, well, less on combat and hopefully less on spelling as well. Uh, that's that's a tough call. I, you know, I'm going to go mediator. Just because I'm tending towards the discussion side of things. I might regret it. And... Done. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? So, of course, each one of these answers is pointing you to one of the colors of the lightsaber, one of the Jedi types. Help them flee. Stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. That, my guess is that's the consular, because you want to mediate. Attack would be the guardian. And then help them flee would be the uh, sentinel, I would think. So we're going to stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. All right. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Jump off his head. Uh, find out why he turned to the dark side and try to turn him. Try to see a weakness in his technique. Yeah. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Knock. Oh, <laughs> it's actually one of the choices. All right. Uh, try to pick the lock. I'm going to knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, 
The final question. But last, you were the, the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Uh, let's see, hunt them down obviously wouldn't be the choice for my character. Try to lure them into a trap. Oh, I suppose. This really does sound like a boring Jedi, doesn't it? But I... I guess I've decided. Coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. Yes, I thought as much. So did as I. I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Oh, Which color and surprise. path do you believe yourself most suited to? Yellow. Apprentice? Oh, uh, green. No, green. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. Green Consular. Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on in how to construct it. Ah, and we leveled up. Sorry if you can hear me drinking away there, but... Oh well. The microphone is, as you might suspect, kind of close to my mouth, and it's important that I keep drinking, because that drink is sitting right there calling to me. All right, this uh, computer use? No. Oh, it's uh, I only got two points. All right. Um, any of these worth putting points into? Awareness and persuade. Awareness. I'm thinking that on my next skill pass, these will be. Um, I won't be able to set them to thirteen, but. There, we're going to do that. I I have a feeling we're going to end up with all 12s anyway when we're done, but... Feats. So now we've gained lightsaber proficiency, Jedi defense, force focus, Jedi sense, and force sensitive. So I will review these so you can see what they do. I'm not sure myself. But they're all these new ones. So I think this was the first one. Jedi Defense. This feat allows the character with an equipped lightsaber to deflect blaster bolts at excuse me, at any time when a character is fired upon. An opposed roll is made against the attack. If the result is greater than the attack roll, the blaster bolt is deflected. If the attack is beaten by ten or more, the bolt is deflected back at the enemy. Jedi classes receive this feat at the first level. Consular, this feat adds plus one to the difficulty class for all saving throws against the character's force powers. This feat is always active. Um, I don't know enough about rolls. That almost sounds negative to me, but I, it, I think, yeah, it must be positive because I can boost it. Why would you boost a negative? Yeah, plus two, plus three. Okay, so it must be in my favor. Plus four, I mean. And this one is Jedi Sense. The Jedi develops a connection to the Force that allows them to better sense incoming attacks. This feat grants plus two to defense and is always active. Handy. And this one is continued focus. So that's one-handed weapon. Here's the other one. This feat gives the character basic training in the use of lightsabers. Now, I have a tough decision to make here. I've been pushing for using one-handed weapons. And clearly the game is pushing me towards a lightsaber. And I'm almost tempted to buck that and work towards using my pistol anyway. Again, sort of just to be different. 